It's Wednesday, December 5th here in Seoul, and this is Korea's Daily Headlines from Korea Now. I'm Debbie Wan. South Korean liquor company Hygin Ro has begun selling its low alcohol product called Iser Tok Tok at convenience stores in Thailand. Iser Tok Tok is a sparkling soju drink that comes in peach and pineapple flavors. It's now being sold at some 1,500 stores operated by Thailand's Lotus Express. Hygin Ro first entered the Thai market in 2015. U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton said Tuesday that President Trump wants a second summit with Kim Jong-un to make sure that the North Korean leader comes through with the promises he made at their first meeting in June. Bolton's remark came amid a deadlock in talks between Washington and Pyongyang over how to dismantle North Korea's nuclear program. Meanwhile, a Pentagon spokesman told Yonhap News that South Korea and the United States are still reviewing plans for next year's joint military exercises to avoid hurting nuclear talks with North Korea. South Korea's Foreign Minister Kang Kyung-hwa will be attending the funeral of former U.S. President George H.W. Bush this week. The former president died last Friday at the age of 94. Minister Kang will be heading a South Korean delegation to the funeral to be held at the Washington National Cathedral in the U.S. capital on Wednesday, local time. Samsung Electronics has announced that it has extended its partnership with the International Olympic Committee by eight years to 2028. With the renewed partnership, Samsung will remain as the official Olympic partner for the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics, the 2026 Winter Olympics and the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics. The location for the 2026 Winter Olympics has yet to be decided. JYP Entertainment has announced that twice dominated this year's major Tower Records charts in Japan in the K-pop category. The girl group's first full-length Japanese album titled BDZ has become the best-selling K-pop album in Japan to claim the number one spot on the Tower Records chart for the top 10 K-pop albums. In addition, Twice's single titled Wake Me Up also topped Tower Records' annual chart for the top 10 K-pop singles, while another single Candy Pop ranked second on the same chart. And those are your top headlines for today. For full-length articles, you can check out the official Yonhap News website linked down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe and stay right here with us on Korea Now.